Hi guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to make my sweet potato disc stack. It's one of my favourite recipes, so let's get going. So to start off I've got my oven preheating at 200 degrees and I'm going to peel my sweet potato and cut it into discs. You can leave the skin on if you prefer but personally I think it works a lot better when it's peeled. So I'm just cutting the sweet potato into small round chunks and then I'm going to melt some coconut oil and toss it in it with some oregano. So once you have the sweet potato cut into nice and um, chunky discs, if you add some melted coconut oil and some dried oregano and just a little pinch of coarse salt. So then what I'm going to do is give this a good mix so that everything is nicely coated and then I'm going to bake them in the oven. Don't be afraid to go in with your hands. Makes it a lot quicker and you have to put them onto the tray anyway. So, so once they're nicely coated, if you line your baking tray with them, I'm going to pop these into the oven to bake at 200 degrees for about 25 to 30 minutes until they're fully cooked and nice and crispy. So once your potatoes are fully cooked, you're ready to wrap them into the bacon. Um, I'd recommend leaving them for a minute or two after you take them out of the oven, just so you don't burn your hands. I'm gonna be using streaky bacon for this because it's nice and elastic, so it'll wrap well around the bacon. If you just take a piece of bacon up and then fold it over, almost just like you're crisscrossing it, and you can tuck it in at the back as well to keep it all together. For the smaller pieces of sweet potato, you might find that there's a lot of bacon, so don't be afraid to just trim it off, or you can give it a double wrap. Personally, the more bacon, the better, so I'll give mine a wrap like this. So once all of your sweet potato is wrapped, you're ready to move on to the pan. So once your pan is nice and hot, you're good to go. I'm gonna do it in batches of two so that you're not overcrowding the pan. So after a couple of minutes on the opposite side, they'll be ready to go. Just make sure your bacon is completely cooked through and nice and crispy. And then what you're gonna do is just stack them up in a nice little pile. Then I'm just gonna finish it off with a little bit of coriander, just to add a splash of green. If you wanna bulk these up, serving them with some poached eggs is great to make it into a nice hearty brunch. For the full details on this recipe and loads more, head over to thewonkyslotta.com.